Good evening folks, it's Glenn the Ball Chef and this evening I'm putting together a Italian meat sauce called Salsa Bolsonaro. It is a little bit different than your regular, this is an authentic recipe from Italy. Uh, it's not typically served on spaghetti noodles, it's served on some type of flat noodle. Today we'll be using uh, fettuccine for our pasta. So let's get started with the uh, technique and uh, I'll show you exactly how to put together this great sauce from Italy, Salsa Bolsonaro. Alright, well we're going to start off for our salsa with uh, a little bit of miracua, which is the celery, the carrot, and the onion. It's been diced up very fine. I've actually thrown in a couple cloves of garlic. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sweat some of this out by using some, about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Put this right into the pan. And into that, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic, got about uh, three cloves that I have uh, cut up. And then I'm going to add the uh, celery and the onions and the carrots into this stock pot here. And uh, we're going to start slowly simmering that and start sweating the vegetables off and uh, when these are completely sweated off we'll come in and show you the next step. Alright we removed the sweated vegetables and since this is a meat sauce we're going to be using about a pound of ground beef and a pound of pork and what we're going to do is we're going to chop this up and brown this off and after I've got all this browned off, step is we're going to add some tomato paste. And this is a uh, six ounce can. Go right in there like that. So that mix into our meat mixture. All right. Well, this uh, tomato paste nicely infused with our beef and pork mixture. We're going to return our vegetables now, which are the red onion, carrot, and uh, celery. And we're going to spice this up a little bit with a teaspoon of black pepper, a combination of dried thyme and oregano, about a half teaspoon of each, two bay leaves, and then I put, put in uh, three quarters of a cup of red wine, a little Cabernet, mix this up here a little bit, and then we're going to put a lid on this, and we're just going to let this uh, stew. about a half an hour here. All right, this has been stewing for about an hour. Got some little nice stuff going on in here. What we're gonna do to this next is we're gonna add just a couple tablespoons of half and half. This, just to thicken this up a little bit. And then to this sauce, we're going to add some imported Italian crushed tomatoes, 28 ounces. I'm going to stir that right into the sauce. Cover this back up, let this go for another 45 minutes or so, and we'll have some sauce ready to go. About a half an hour in here, I think this could probably use just a Smidge of sea salt. Put just a maybe a teaspoon in there. The tomato's got some salt in it. That should be fine. Let's give this a taste. Okay. Right where we want to be. All right, folks. We've got some uh, freshly cooked egg fettuccine. 
got the bourguignon sauce. We're gonna ladle on a little bit of this onto our pasta here. Then wouldn't be complete. A little bit of fresh cheese. Of course, would not be complete without some good imported, freshly grated cheese, which we will give a generous proportion to this dish. And then we will top this off with a little bit of a garnishment of basil. And let's take this over and give it a taste. And then we've got it, folks, the finished salsa bowls and a fettuccine noodle, a flat noodle. We'll give this a bite. See how the sauce and the noodles came out here. And you've got to give it a try, folks. This is absolutely bordering on spectacular. Is there everything you want in a good meat sauce for, for pasta? It's Glenn the Ball Chef. Join me on G+. Give me a like if you like it. Subscribe to me. I've got all kinds of interesting recipes to show you. Thanks for watching again. And as always, bon appetit.